Hey guys, JP Toys 97 back for another review. Finally, it's been a while. Been a bit busy. If you saw the recent two videos I uploaded here, the new channel trailer and part two of the slideshow, been trying to piece together a day from my childhood when I saw robotic dinosaurs at my local zoo. What a glorious day it was. Never forgot that. 20, it's been 20 years. And I st before I even uncovered the photos, I, I still remember the color of their skin and everything. So yeah. The company that made those dinosaurs in my slideshow there was a company called Dynamation. Uh, some of the coolest looking life-size robotic dinosaurs I ever saw. And it kind of pains me that company went under in the early 2000s. And I never again saw a dinosaur exhibit or show quite like it. It was pretty amazing. And yeah, it saddens me that it's no longer around. But either way, we're going to be reviewing something today that has to involve Dynamation dinosaurs. It's been a while since I've done some trading card reviews here. We have another dinosaur trading card set here from 1992. Dino cards. Not to be confused with the Dinosaur Society Dino cards with a Z. I wonder if that really kind of messed up with anyone back in the day. They're both called Dino cards, but one has a Z and the other has an S. One of the earliest dinosaur themed trading card sets I reviewed here on my channel years ago now, when I, it was one of my first videos, was Dinosaurs Attack by Tops from 1988. Uh, very gory, but fun comic book like dinosaur trading card set. Not for the kids, let me tell you. We also reviewed dinosaur cards with a Z, officially proved by the Dinosaur Society. A wonderful set here. And then Dinosaurs the Mesozoic Era, the Redstone set. This was only like a 50 card set, I believe. It wasn't really that hard to complete. Cool display box for being on the store shelf. But what's going to get the review spotlight today here is these trading cards by Dynamation. Oh, that T-Rex is so familiar to me. Oh. I know a lot of the Dynamation robotic dinosaurs appeared in the game too. 3D Dinosaur Adventure. Look at this! It's still... Oh, it's not still sealed in the box. The box is pretty badly beaten up. That's barely hanging on. So isn't that... This game was awesome. I mean, it wasn't even a game. It was like a interactive learning encyclopedia. Glorious. Just a little interactive encyclopedia learning center game for children and stuff. Uh, wasn't anything mind blowing, but I remember having a blast with this game. It was a, a little mini game on here that was really great that I still remember it was called Save the Dinosaurs. But yeah, that's a that's for another time. Yep. But a lot of the robotic dinosaurs by Dynamation appeared in that game as well as books, and I. I just remember these dinosaurs were everywhere in the 90s. Got a little price tag mark there, $20. 36 star packs, each containing exciting and educational collectible cards that feature Dynamation's lifelike, scientifically accurate dinosaurs and fascinating facts about their lives. Serious fun for all ages. I guarantee it is. And just some cool little artwork. I'm not positive here, but I think some of the artwork here on these cards also appear on the Redstone Mesozoic era set. Awesome, really awesome. Here's just one last look at the box before I tear into this brand new Mamma Jamma. Alright, just need to get the plastic started here. And ooh, fresh from the box, 1992. I'm gonna try to do this with you get a pretty beautiful box here. I I love it. Like a lot of trading card boxes, it flips up, and then you kind of have it as a little display here as if it was on a store shelf back in the day where you could come in and then buy packs. Here's my little collector card album which you have seen before. I have the pages ready to go as I try to complete this set for my binder. I've seen some stuff in here before. Dinosaurs Attack, we got the Redstone set, some other generic ones, some Primal Rage, the Lost World top set, classic. We even have the original Hold my counter cards first, but then we got the original top set, and yeah, I'm gonna put the Dynamation set here in the front of the binder. Alright, gonna be interesting to see how this goes here, but here's the pack before I open it. 
kind of cool little silhouette looking artwork here. Card art from Star Picks. 10 collectible trading cards per pack. Just some other generic information. Nothing else really too crazy. I'm going to try to save one of these packs in my binder. I usually try to keep one of them in the binder somewhere. Freshly opened. Get a behind the scenes card here. Number seven. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Donimation. I like the pink background, very 90s. Oh, and even more 90s here. These bright colors in your face. It's a cool card. I remember coming face to face with this T-Rex or that robotic T-Rex as a six-year-old kid. Alpha Don, looks like a little prehistoric mammal. Um, probably one of my favorite Dynamation dinosaur ro robots was this Allosaurus. This thing just looked intimidating and mean. Uh, I very much loved the paint job they had on them at the exhibit I went to. On the exhibit I went to, here's the actual photograph, developed photograph. Kodak. A little bit different of a paint color scheme, but it's the same same guy. He's got more red on him here, which is a little bit interesting and cool. But I very much loved the tiger like pattern they put on him at the, the zoo event I attended. Really cool card. Card number 35. Archaeopteryx. Just a star card picture. Number 37. I don't think I ever saw this one on any at the exhibit I attended. But it looks like another robotic. Seven. Oh, here's an image we've seen before from the Mesozoic era redstone set. And this image is also from 3D Dinosaur Adventure, if my memory serves me correct. Uh, Mythbuster card, number 55. Another one here, the Velociraptor. 51. It's a cool image of the uh, T-Rex right there. Babies. Very nice. And just a generic Triassic map. Card 72. And this looks just like to be an insert card of some kind. Card number 76. All right, so one pack down. Mm, let's see what pack number two has in store. Oh, the Apatosaurus. This thing was awesome. I believe he was more of a reddish color at the exhibit I attended, but I've seen him in green before, too. Uh, Dynamation dinosaurs kind of varied from event to event. Uh, they used to travel all across the United States and the world, showing up at zoos and malls and everywhere. There's the Apatosaurus, really cool. Little foot from Land Before Time. Card number 10, so right there on the second page. The Pteranodon that was also in my slideshow, really cool, really cool. I like this one. I love the background colors on these, very 90s and in your face colors. Pteranodon, card number 19. Chronosaurus. I don't think at any I don't think there was any sea creature reptiles at the event I attended in 97 at the Roger Williams Zoo. And our first duplicate here, Allosaurus. Archaeopteryx duplicate. Here's a new one. Alphadon. Looks like a plastic resin statue. Still cool though nonetheless. Card 49. Some more artwork from the Mesozoic era set that was also in 3D Dinosaur Adventure. Mythbuster card number 50. Another Mythbuster card, number 52. Stegosaurus baby, oh yes, I remember seeing a Stegosaurus baby at the event. Not quite painted like that, but card number 60. I seem to recall a baby Apatosaurus at the event I went to as well, but I can't find the photograph of him. I'm still pulling pictures out from of that event. Card number 61. And star picks just looks like some rocks and a volcano. I am such a nerd for collecting trading cards here and opening up packs. 
another duplicate of the behind the scenes of the Allosaurus being transported probably somewhere to another event. Pachycephalosaurus! Ah, oh, that was a cool, this was a really cool one. I don't think I ever saw him in person though, because uh, the Dynamation shows were different. Not all the dinosaurs on the roster would be at every show, but I wish I got to see this Pachy in person back then. Card number 15. Another duplicate of Chronosaurus. Ooh, this looks like some cool little artwork. <laughs> it's very weird. Unsolved mysteries. It looks like his, it's his bone. Like, that's a very weird looking picture. Very weird looking picture on this one. Card number 30. Unsolved mysteries. Mysterious mysteries of unsolved mysteries. <laughs> oh, this is... ah, Dimetrodon. It's a very cool animatronic. Um, I remember this also from the 3D Dinosaur Adventure game. I know I'm just repeating myself saying that, but I don't think Dimetrodon was at the event I went to. I don't recall. But very nice card. Eophocephalus. I think I said that right, or I hope I said that right. Card number 38. Oh, man. Thalasmiodon. Uh, as always, excuse me if I did not pronounce that correctly. Card number 48. This is another cool image that I very much remember from my childhood. I think this was an Albertosaurus in this picture. Card 54. And we remember this one from the Redstone Mesozoic era set now, don't we? Card 58. Extinction theories, just some photographs of the Earth. And then the Jurassic map. I love opening up trading cards, especially dinosaur-themed trading cards. Another Dimetrodon card with a pink background. Card number eight, going on the front page. And here's another one for that other guy. Ooh. Another awesome image of the Pachycephalosaurus. Dynamation. Card 39. Another duplicate. Here's another duplicate. Another duplicate. Here's a new one. I think this was a Dasplatiosaurus in this image. I'm not sure. This is just a Mythbuster cards. Mythbusters. Another B. Here's an, uh, another baby. It's a duplicate. Pretty sure that's a duplicate. And there's the Cretaceous that we've been looking for. We now have the entire era of dinosaur complete. Oh, well. Never mind, I got all three of them right here in this one pack. <laughs> Some behind the scenes looking. Behind the scenes, Dynamation, them making these robotic statues, life sized. Card number four, that's going on the first page. Another duplicate. Ooh, Deinonychus. So I remember there being two of these guys at the event I went to. And actually, there was actually four, I think. There was two standing up like this, and then there was two other ones that were attacking a, a baby Apatosaurus. Uh, another duplicate. Star picks Unsolved Mysteries. Card 26. Chronosaurus, I can already tell, just before even looking at the name. That's a really cool looking animatronic statue there. I wish I saw some of these sea reptiles that Dynamation made, but I never did. Once the 90s came to a close, I kind of feel like a lot of these robotic statues just vanished. Almost like another mass extinction event. There's another duplicate. Another Mythbuster card. Number 53. There's an image from the Redstone set, Brachiosaurus. Another Mythbuster card. 56. And there's a mountainside. Card number 70. And this looks like another insert glossary card. Number 77. On to the next. Another behind the scenes card. Number three, that's going on the front page. Duplicate of the Apatosaurus. Duplicate of the Pteranodon. Unsolved Mysteries. There's some artwork. Cool Stegosaurus animatronic statue. 
33, duplicate, 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 ooh, a volcano. Extinction theories, duplicate, time scale, really cool, card 71, duplicate, 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 present day map, we don't got this one yet, present day, and I think this one is, uh, these two are the same, yes. And yeah, these two are the same. Duplicate of the same card in the same pack. 33 more cards, and we got a complete set here. I think I'm only seven packs in here, so we've still got 30 packs to go through. Behind the scenes card, it looks like it's at a dig site of sorts. Card number two, again, going on the first page. You got an Elophocephalus. Eophocephalus, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, with the cool neon 90s color background, number 14. Duplicate of the Tyrannosaurus. Ooh, that's a cool looking Tylosaurus. Unsolved Mysteries, Stegosaurus, I like the hearts there in the background. <laughs> How were dinosaurs colored? Card 28. Where these cards almost have like some fuzziness to them from being in the pack so long. It's hard to explain. Rampharynchus. I hope I'm pronouncing that one right. 36. Rampharynchus. Duplicate. 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 Ooh. That's a really cool image. I know that's just like an artwork drawing, but that's a really cool image. Oops, lost a card there for a second. 57, a, this one's a duplicate, and this is a new one, I think. Extinction theories, just some rocks by the ocean side. It's 67, changes in sea level. Continuing right along. Mission statement. I believe this is the owner of the company Dynamation. I forget his name. Chris Mays. Card number one of the set. Archaeopteryx with a bright fluorescent pink background. Card 13. Oh, this is a cool looking Triceratops here. The same Triceratops that I saw at my exhibit. Uh, it wasn't, didn't have all these bright other designs on them though. The one at the event I attended was straight all brown, like Jurassic Park style. Alpha Dawn 25. Ooh, here's some cool looking artwork on this one. Unsolved Mysteries 27. Parasaurolophus. The event I went to, there was two of these guys by a nest. I could only find a picture of one of these guys and the nest. But yes, Parasaurolophus. Card number 40. Duplicate. 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 Extinction theories. 66. And this is a checklist card, I think. Yeah, this is a, the checklist card, the last card in the set, number 80. Cool, we have number 80. Behind the scenes card, it's a duplicate. I believe this is a new one. We haven't got a Stegosaurus with the bright 90 color background. Very nice. Card number nine. Duplicate. That's a duplicate. 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 Card 68. Extinction Theories. I think that's a duplicate and that's a duplicate. Ooh. That was a tough pack. Only one new card. All duplicates in that one. I think I'm going to cut here and then piece together the set myself. This is the stack of all duplicate cards here. I'm going to piece together the set and then I'll be back. Try cycloplots. That's a lot of duplicates, Red. I know, I know. 
Look at this workstation slob. All right, so we're back now. I've got a full set. I'm gonna just do a quick little skim through here so you can see what the whole set looks like. I'm not gonna spend forever here, but really nice set. I like how the border edges of the cards look all stone and rock-like, almost like, gives me Flintstone vibes. And these insert cards here are really cool with the bright neon 90s colored backgrounds here. All these Dynamation Dinosaurs, really awesome. This video is already like over 20 minutes, so uh, excuse me if I'm just rushing here. But yeah, you guys can kind of get an idea of what the set looks like. Very much enjoyed opening these packs and piecing together this cool looking set. I mean, we've seen a lot of these cards from the packs that I've opened up too. So I won't, like I said, spend a long time here. Also too, if you really wanted, you could probably just go look these cards up online and find them all. These were the trouble cards, the ones I pulled last, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. I don't know if some of these ones are more rare or just uncommon, but the Triceratops, the T-Rex, Pteranodon, Deinonychus, and the Tylosaurus card right there were like some of the last cards I pulled for the set. Be warned. Chronosaurus. A lot of the cards we saw me pull from the packs here. So like I said, I'm not going to take forever showing them or reading up all the information on the back. That would just take too long. Got the cards with some of the redstone artwork. Mythbuster cards. Then you have the baby insert cards. That's what was cool about this set. You had a lot of the... Dynamation Robotics, and then you had like little insert cards for all the baby dinosaur robotics they did, and then there was Mythbuster cards and Extinction Theory cards. Very nice set, I would say, for a dinosaur lover, if you happen to grow up in the 90s with these. And the last page here, just the geological maps, the Jurassic, Cretaceous, present day, and then glossary insert cards that aren't really all too exciting. And one pack, which I keep in the binder. And there you have it, folks. That's the 1992 Dynamation Dinosaur Trading Card Set. A very nice and pleasing set for a dinosaur lover, especially if you have a soft spot in your heart for some of the Dynamation robotics like I do. I highly recommend these cards if you can find a box or if you don't want to buy a box and do pack openings and then have a mound of duplicates that's about the height of the Papo Giganotosaurus. <laughs> He looks like he's hanging on to both edges of the cards. Mine! If you don't want to have a bunch of extra duplicates lying around, you can buy the whole set for like, I think it's like seven or ten dollars and get all 80 cards and not have all these extras lying around. I don't mind having the extras lying around, but maybe some people wouldn't want that, which I could understand. That about wraps this video up. I hope you've enjoyed or found this video entertaining or helpful in some way. Give the video a thumbs up if you love dinosaur cards and post a comment down below and tell me what your favorite dinosaur trading card set is of all time and have I reviewed it here on the channel or should I review it? Let me know. Appreciate all the support everybody. I'm sorry it took a while to get another video out here. I haven't forgot about you. So until next time, I'm JPToys97 and take care.